Whoa, what? What? What's going on? What? What the heck? Hey, 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 guys. This is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Grind. And yes, in the last episode, I found out that you really just can shoot the bear. <laughs> I mean, if you can shoot the bear, you're just going to really make him mad. I haven't figured out how to take him out, but apparently it says something about you need some help. Just hunt skin and sell grizzly bear hide. You're probably going to need some help with this one. So um, I think this game is multiplayer, so maybe you have to encourage some people to come in and help you with it. So if that's the case, I don't know who in the world I get to do it, to be honest. But right now I've got I've earned twelve dollars. I've been grinding some fish while avoiding grizzly bears. Best money is up north. I'm thinking that I need to get either some new gear, which right now I still don't have any. I don't think we need this just yet. This is a max drag of eighty. We probably need that in Florida. This is three forty five. It's only six pound test. I've got four pound, but some of these fish have been Pretty darn big. Uh, this one's 10 pounds. That might be what we need. That's moderate action. Okay, easier to larger fish. That's only a 3 pound. So, I still don't have enough money. Shoot, that sucks. Well, I'll tell you what. Sucks. Also, according to this, we can hunt a deer. Hunt skin and sell deer hide, deer can be found in Oregon. Now, I have been to Oregon multiple times and never saw a deer. Then I just went there and saw two of them. Shot at them and missed them. That's the way things go. But, I might try again. I think I know where they are now. Maybe at least if nothing else we'll see one. Okay, so it's E and we select the gun. Make sure you got it loaded. R is for loading it. And it was right over here where it started to branch off. Now so far it doesn't look like time changes. At least not yet. I don't know if there's a specific way you have to shoot them or how you have to aim. I mean, I'm pretty good with iron sights. So, the fact that the first time I tried it, I did shoot at them and missed. So, I don't know if that's going to be a problem here or not. Okay, here's where it branches off. Now, last time I was walking down here, I don't think I can crouch. Nope, can't crouch. So it's not. Can't sneak up on them. I would suspect that running's not a good idea. But yeah, I was just going through here and one was just crossing across the path. Plain as day. This time, there he is. There's one right there. Oh, 
Ooh, I hit him. I think I hit him. Shoot. I'm sitting there loading, he's getting away. Ah, shoot. He's faster than I am. <laughs> well, of course he's faster than I am. It's a freaking deer. <laughs> yeah, if he gets past the boundary, I'm not going to be able to go after him. Oh, man, I'm going to not be able to get him. Too fast. Did I hit him? Well, I have to make sure that I did because if he dies and I leave him, that would be a bad thing. I can't get him. Well, heck, guys, he's gone. There's nothing I can do. Well, he got away. I'm not sure what to do about that. Oh, I guess nothing I can do. Hmm. Well, we can try going back there and see if we can see another one. Last time I did see two. Yeah, there's definitely deer here. No. I'm gonna see another one, and I don't think it's gonna happen. But I might have to leave and come back. Get, get, like, respawn another deer. I don't know. <sighs> Just keep an eye out here. Not seeing any deer. I thought I had him. Yeah, the developer did answer me back and said that I needed to click, right click on it and it should give me a hint for help for that, but I mean, it did to some degree, but it didn't tell me if I'm aiming at this gun. There's really no way to know for sure. Shoot, I hate that. What's that? I got flipped around. Yeah, they really need to work on a lagging issue. I think that's the only real danger here. That, that's a danger. I thought maybe they might have some people trying to trip you up or something like that. You know where I get it, but apparently not. Just, you can have deer here and that's it. Besides the fishing. Yeah, no more deer. Tell you what, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna try to restart this again. See if they reappear. Alright guys, I am back. I did go back to the market and restarted this map. Gonna see if the deer appears again. Always gotta make sure you're loaded. But each time I have seen him, I've been coming down this path. It comes from the left. And I'm not sure how close I have to get to him to shoot him. Apparently I wasn't close enough. Something was wrong. Something was wrong. I don't know what it was. But if he doesn't show up, I will take you over to something I found on my way back the last time, which was kind of interesting. Don't know if it plays a role in the game or not. He may not make an appearance this time. Up oh, there he is. We're gonna try to be a little more s s 
sneaky as we can be in this game. Kidding me? I shot him. I know I did. So why can't? Why didn't he die? Lord, twice, three times. Well. There's no way I can catch him now. Damn it. Okay. I give up, guys. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Well, I'm going to take you over to what I found earlier. I also want to know if this means anything, too. Yeah, yeah here it is. It's a hunting tower. Yeah, I never saw this before. The only thing is, there doesn't seem to be any way to get up into it. It's just here. And all around it, there's nothing that says you can climb it or anything like that. It wouldn't have been nice. Is this something they're eventually going to give us to use, or is it just here? I mean, what's the deal? I don't know. It's not actually that far away from the road. The road's right over here. You can almost see it from the road. Well, I cannot shoot the darn deer. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I cannot shoot him. The gun did not seem to be effective at all. Yep, I cannot shoot the deer, guys. It's like, this, like the third time I've tried to get a deer, and they just don't even seem to be bothered by me. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and head on out of here, go back to the market. I think we're going to go ahead and go back to Alaska. Now, there is a good way to catch these fish. I mean, you're always going to be at risk with the bears. That's just a given. But the real money is here. You just have to keep an eye out for those bears, and you have to keep moving. Now, here's the trick. Come over here to start off with. And I've gotten more bites on this side here than I have the other locations. Look for those flies at the first hot spot. Here they are. Okay. Now, I don't know if you see it, right across the, the lake, there's a bear. That's the bear I gotta worry about. He will make his way around here, but he's slow. And you will get some fish that are just too darn big for you to get. That's just gonna happen. Anyway, you, usually once he gets about to that spot over there, can't point it out, but once he gets there, you better start moving. Go to the next hot spot. Just make your way around the lake. Oh wow, I've got two of them that were too big. Really need that bigger rod, guys. Then we can make some more money and we can move on to the next. Okay, this one we're gonna get. Yeah, these grayling, they bring in $15 a 
pound. So they're being in pretty darn good money. And I have already managed to bring in a new fish, a burbot. That brought that one brought in $35 a pound. You get one of those, you're rocking it. And that's what I want to really be able to do is start getting some bourbon. Let me just see if the bear's getting here a little bit on the fast side this time. Just keep an eye on him. I'm not biting as much this time. It's really strange. There are times when it's like one right after another, right after another, and other times you're waiting. Now, usually once you get past, you're not going to get them. Seriously? I get that all the time. Water's not deep enough. It, it's a hot spot, so I don't understand that. But it might be the rod because it's casting out far now. Oh, there we go, a hog sucker. You don't get as much money from them. You always stick to your finger. Yeah, usually most often get the grayling here. After that, probably the hog suckers. Occasionally a chum salmon. Only got one bourbon. Whatever this is, is taking a sweet time getting here. Let's see. Where's that bear? Starting to, starting to get a little close. We may not have a move. I don't know what his range is, but he reaches a certain point, he can see you. He'll come after you. Okay, I don't... Okay, he's getting a little too close for comfort. Let's go ahead and go around the lake a little bit. We'll find the next hot spot. Fish there for a minute. This might be one of those spots where, see how close it is? Half the time I usually get water's not deep enough or something. fishing rod. I can still see the bear. I'm pretty sure he would have been in range to see me. But I think I really want to move a little bit more. I prefer when he's on the opposite shore where I can see him better. I don't think you can outrun the bear once he sees you. Yeah, see, he's already on the other shore. He would have gotten to me by now. There's a spot right here. Yeah. 
that's exactly where I was fishing earlier. So he's already there. Open this doesn't say the water's not deep enough. I've been getting that a lot lately. Does it again? We're gonna have to move to another spot. Yeah, gotta move. I got it. See the bear. He's far enough over there that he should be out of range. I usually just take the drag down so the fish just goes ahead, takes it out. Kind of like cutting a line. Yeah, let me recast. Keep getting big fish. <laughs> I'm having trouble seeing the bear now. I see him. He's right where the tip of my pole is. I'm holding it still and you can see it moving behind the pole. So he's all the way across the way, so we're good. Come on, dudes. You should get more bites. Nah, we're just getting too many big ones. I think I might move over to that other spot, because I was getting a lot better bites over there. And he's far enough away that I shouldn't have to worry about him now. Because this spot over here is really good. How much do I have? I only got five. You should do better than that. I'm going to go ahead and catch a few more fish, guys. We're going to see if we don't have enough money to get some better gear. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I'll bring you back. All right, guys. I just caught a burbot. Here he is. Three-pounder at 
18 dollars. The last one was heavier than that. But I think I've got all the fish that I can catch. And Happy Pants is coming back around, so we need to get past him. See how much money we've gotten, because we may have enough to make this work. See him running up, so that's a good sign. We'll sell all 603 tech on. We don't have enough yet. Need 670 to get that next rod. Huh. I don't think I can go back around there again. I'm gonna have to try a different place. But this, there's another spot over here that's really good. Just a, when I, it's a lot farther to go, and I don't like to go too far away from this guy. The other thing is, is that we may get more big fish here. There's also probably there, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost sure there's another way to go over there. I think there's four here. I could be wrong, but I, yeah, there's a hot spot right here. And I've done really well on this hot spot. The only problem is I've also been attacked at this hot spot. <laughs> so I need... And there's no bear sitting across the lake that I can watch out for. You just have to keep looking. So you gotta keep a lookout for bears. Sneak up behind you. We're really close now. Now, the bear's gonna come. He's gonna come from over that direction. Never had him come behind me. Just over there. Now, usually they traipse right across that little open area right there, and then they see me. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep fishing. Hopefully, I won't lose... See, the bad thing about dying is that you lose your fish. Sorry, my dog's acting up again. I'm gonna have to take care of him, too. Okay, this one might be a little bit bigger, guys, but I think I'm gonna be able to bring it in. Hoping it's a burbot, or maybe a salmon of some kind. The drag automatically went up to three pounds. And I'm actually having a tough time getting him in. We're gonna bump it up to four pounds. So this is something new, maybe. Yeah, this is this is pushing the limits of my gear. Just hope my bear didn't decide to make an appearance and ruin this whole cool thing. And he's this is a much bigger fish. Okay, what is that? I think it's a salmon. See here. Yep, it is a three pounds, seven twenty-seven pound dollars for that sample too. We're doing pretty good, guys. Now we just gotta keep from dying. That's all we gotta do. <laughs> Aha! Look, we have a bear. This time I can see him. I see the bear. I see the bear. All right. He didn't come from across the way this time. He's actually crossed the lake, which I can keep an eye on better, but he is pretty damn close, though. Yeah, I'd like to get a little bit of cash here, so I'd like to get a full backpack if possible. Because if I can, I might be able to get some lures, too. I want that 10 pound rod. That's what I want. I don't think the 6 pound rod's gonna cut it. 
I'll eventually buy that too. For now, I want the bigger one. Ah. Uh, this is exactly why I want it too. I want to see what the heck those things are that just keep dragging off with it. I shouldn't need the big sea rod. That's going to be for Florida or Louisiana or where it is I gotta go. I want to lose these fish. These fish are going to bring me some good cash. I got it. Yeah, I think he's a little too close for comfort. This lake isn't as big as the other lake either, so we're going to go down to this side. I think there is a fishing spot over here that we can use. We'll be able to keep an eye on our Bruin friend. close to and I was starting to get a little bit iffy about that. Let's see if we can't fill up our backpack and then we'll try to make our way back to the car without getting killed. Taking three pounds of drag to get him in. Yep, another salmon. We're over here. Get three more fish. Got to keep an eye out, guys. We don't want to get surprised. Like I said, I don't see it. That makes me a little nervous. Hey, usually when you're fishing, you can just relax, you know? You can't hear. <laughs> you have to be. Watch your back. So if this is a multiplayer, I would assume that you could use additional players to watch your back. Shoot the bear. Wonder if that means that you have to worry about any additional bears or if that's pretty much it. That probably isn't it, because when I was on Oregon, I did see two deer the first time. I saw the same deer we saw crossing the road, and I followed it the first time. 
and he ended up meeting another deer. We are almost full here, guys. We are backpacking a whole 12 fish. this time. Let's kind of take a look over here while I'm pulling just to make sure nothing sneaking up behind me. Damn, I'd love to know where that damn bear is. Okay, this is going to be our last fish, guys. And it's a hogsack. <laughs> Alright. Well, here we go, guys. We're going to go across the other side. Hope we don't die. over there. I haven't done any exploring on that side of things. I have explored the opposite side. There is another lake over there. But the fish are so big there's not much point in fishing it until we get this other rod. Once we get the other rod, then we can go for the big octopuses. So yes, right. Yeah, there is another lake over there. I got myself turned around again because it's lag. Shoot, there's the bear. There's the bear. Where's the bear go? That's usually what he does. Yeah, I wish I had binoculars. If he keeps head the right direction of head, he should be all right. We're gonna have to wait him out a little bit. Yeah, I'll bring you back once he gets to a safe distance. All right, guys, he is walking off into the distance here. I've been kind of creeping up. as it gets a little bit further and a little bit further. Need to make sure I get to the car. The last time I was almost to the car before the little bugger attacked. So I didn't get to unload my fish. Where he is. No, no, no. Sell off. Alright, go back to market. Ooh, that was a little too close for comfort there, guys. <laughs> That's a little too close for comfort. Alright, 
Let's go get our new rod. There it is. We bought it. Now let's see if we get something that will get Jesus' chance of getting fish. Classic. Smaller fish. Large bait. Increases your chance of catching larger fish. Well, I don't have the money for that. Smaller fish. Which money do I have? 60. Ain't got it. So. Well, this crankbait long might actually increase my chance. Shiny, that's 50. This one's 40. Let's buy that one, too. All right. That should help us, I think. I hope. But before we go there, I think we might go to Oregon, see if there's anything there that we might be able to catch with a bigger rod. But I think that's enough for this episode. We had some fun with us. We did get to see the deer. Didn't get to shoot the deer. The deer got away from us. I don't know if I should try Oregon. Well, I think what I'll do, guys, is I'll go off screen and I'll test it at Oregon. And then if I catch anything good there, I'll show it to you. If I end up just getting the same kind of fare I've been getting, then I will go on to to Alaska, and we'll see what the big fish are that'll keep escaping us. But anyway, guys, let me go ahead and leave this game here real quick. And we'll just look at the encyclopedia. Now, these are the fish we've got so far. We managed to get trout. There's 7 of 15, so we still got 8 more fish to get. So we got trout, we got bass, we got salmon, chum salmon, grayling, Herbit, which is a new one that we just got. Now, pound for pound, I think the grayling gig get us the big, best money. It's $15 for pound, but they don't come very big. See, Burbit can come up to 13 pounds, but they get six pounds. For... These are like seven, and maximum weight is six pounds. Bass, the biggest they get is three pounds. So we can catch. I doubt there's anything bigger in Oregon after looking at this. This is a new species that I haven't caught yet. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I do like this game. I think it's got a lot of potential. I'd like to see how it progresses. But there are, like I said, there are some questions like. The hunting i just can't figure the hunting out so far so i'm hoping either you guys have played it or maybe the developers will contact me and say oh you just got to do this <laughs> something like that but anyway i'll talk to you later bye bye